it is true i decided to do a cycle of testosterone so i'm going to go through the pros and the cons and what happened what i experienced what i liked what i didn't like and um after my cycle how did things feel after okay so why did i decide to take testosterone well i've been training for 18 years natural i haven't taken any anabolics no SARMs, nothing to enhance my strength whatsoever besides creatine. It's the only thing that I've taken. So I decided, well, I'm 34 years old and I'm really interested to see what testosterone can do for me. So I decided to get on a small cycle. And I was on this cycle for about four months. So I kinda just wanna go over the pros and the cons, the goods and the bads of being on testosterone. And do you think that you should do it? To be honest, that is totally up to you. From what I'm going to tell you is my experience and what happened. And I honestly recommend, honestly, if you decide to get on testosterone, I suggest that you wait until you have reached your natural limit. Remember guys, I was training since I was 15. I've had plenty of time to develop my body and develop strength and develop size had plenty of time i took my body to its natural limits and then i decided hey why not get on some testosterone and see what it does for me so i'm going to go over the things of what i experienced being on testosterone strength definitely going to experience strength i can tell you right off the back that maybe after the first month of your being on your cycle you are definitely going to see a strength increase. You are going to push more weight, push more reps. Some of the weight that you might have done that you figure, hey, I, I can only do, you know, five reps with 100 pound dumbbells where you know that you're going to notice that, hey, I'm doing eight to 10 now. So it, you, you, you're, you're constantly feeling yourself just getting stronger as you're in the gym every day and you're on your cycle. You can just tell that your body is, is starting to adjust to the testosterone. You can tell that, hey, my body is getting stronger. Like I just feel stronger. The weight's starting to feel lighter. So strength is definitely one of them. Size. As you continue to eat and be on your diet, and remember, it totally depends on uh, if you're deciding to cut, if you're deciding to bulk, or if you're deciding to maintain. That is totally up to you. I'm going to tell you guys that when I decided to do this, um, this cycle, I decided to cut while I was on testosterone. I did notice muscle increase. Why? Because I was burning fat and building muscle. I was getting leaner at a heavier weight. Now, usually for me, uh, when I'm over 200 pounds, I start to get more fluffy. I start to get more water retention and some of my definition gone away. It goes away. Well, what I noticed being over 200 pounds and, um, you know, by the way, when I started my cycle, I was about uh, about 220, 225 when I started my cycle. And I noticed that as I dropped in weight, you know, I dropped from five pounds and I dropped 10 pounds and 15 and so forth. I noticed that I was getting a lot more leaner and then I was building a lot more muscle. So at a heavier weight that I used to be uh you know, like when, like for instance, when I was at 210 or, uh, you know, 200 to 210, even 215, I used to not have any definition. I kind of was just big. I was kind of like built like a strong man. But being on testosterone, I noticed that, hey, I got abs at 215. You know, all of the definition in my shoulders and my arms, everything just started to come out more because I was building more muscle and burning fat. So definitely you're going to see size with muscle, like you're going to gain muscle. That's definitely going to happen. Sex drive, um, <laughs> an increase in libido. You are definitely going to get an increase in libido. I can tell you after the first week of, of being on my cycle that my sex drive just increased a lot. I always, I always <laughs> wanted to go into the bedroom I always wanted to, uh, you know, you go out in public and you might see something nice out there and it just make you want to go for it. Um, but, you know, obviously, if you're in a relationship or anything, don't do that, guys. But it just pushes your sex drive very, 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 very high. Like if you thought that you were naturally, 
you know, a, a horny person or you, you know, you had a high libido naturally. Well, being on testosterone is going to increase it like five to ten times more. It's just insane on how you feel. You always want to go to the bedroom. That's one thing that I've noticed a lot as well. More intense workouts. What I definitely notice is that I can go harder in the gym. I've literally um, been in a gym for two and a half, three hours sometimes because I just feel like, man, like I feel great. I feel strong. You know, my muscles don't feel tired and I can just go into the gym and literally just just keep working out until I say like, hey, I'm done. And there's sometimes I'm in the gym for like three hours, constantly just working out. I'll jump from one exercise to the next exercise to the next exercise and I'll keep it moving. Going heavy wasn't too much of a problem. I was already naturally strong. So doing heavy weight for reps was no problem for me. I was doing that too. It's just, it makes you just push your body more for some reason. That's just what I felt. That's what I experienced. I just felt like, hey, I can keep going. I can keep going. Fifth thing, overall well-being. Um, I always felt good. I had high energy. Um, it made me feel more confident. I was in a better mood, even sometimes like, uh, you know, like I'd, I'd be anxious to go to the gym. I'm ready to work out. I'm ready to be active. I get out of my bed and I'm just ready to, to, to move around. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to go to the gym. I'm ready to move around. Just my overall attitude was great. Um, my sleep, my sleep was great, you know. Um, yeah, like. <laughs> those are pretty much the the things that I experienced being on these things um so that's pretty much it that I've experienced I have not experienced all the bad stuff which we're going to get into let's talk about the cons I have not really experienced a lot of cons a lot of the bad from testosterone that a lot of people have experienced and that's from acne to hair loss uh mood swings, things like that. I don't have, I never had any of those, okay? Maybe here and there, you know, you, you, you might get a little frustrated at something that happens, but other than that, no. Like I had no crazy mood swings or what they call roid rage, which is not really true. It's just more so, um, it just amplifies your, your mood, your attitude, you know? If, you're, if you are an irritated person, well, being on testosterone is going to make you even more of an irritated person. So it's better to always have a clear head and have a good head and understanding that, hey, these things are changing your hormones. They're changing your body. So you can't, um, you know, if something makes you mad, you have to learn how to control your emotions. So the things that I experienced bad wise, a lot of water retention. Um, I can tell you that I, I looked at really puffy sometimes. I look really like, like you can just tell no definition, no vascularity. Like I just felt really puffy looking. I just don't like that feeling where my body is holding a lot of water retention. I do not like that. Um, that was one of them that I experienced. Um, <laughs> the second, which is uh, uh, somewhat embarrassing, but I mean, th this is just kind of the cost of being on testosterone. So smaller testicles, right? <laughs> your fucking balls will get smaller so yes me experiencing this was very new for me um my fucking <laughs> my testicles have gotten really small um they just really small just to the point where it was so noticeable where it was like for me it was like holy shit it's embarrassing and um you know that's just something i just wasn't really uh you know, I wasn't used to, but, um, that's what I experienced. But other than that, I mean, it's, you know, that's not really a big deal. Once you come up off of it and your body starts to regulate and comes back to normal, they'll come back to regular size. They won't shrink. Uh, they won't stay shrunken for permanently forever. They will come back to normal size. Um, and you know, the whole theory as well as it makes your dick small for some of you young guys out there that may not understand how testosterone works. You're basically getting an outside source of testosterone and your testicles produce testosterone. So if you're getting testosterone from somewhere else, that's going to make your testicles stop working. They're going to stop producing testosterone, which means what? If they're not working, they're just going to shrink and get smaller. So that's basically what happens. It doesn't make your penis get smaller. It would stay the same size. It's just your testicles will get smaller. 
and um and that's temporary as you're on your cycle once you come up once you come off of it and um you know you you come back to normal you take your clomed you take your pcts once you come off of that everything will start to come back to normal it does takes time for that but it will come back to normal and you will come back to normal size testicles right by the way the dosage that i was taking was between 500 to 600 milligrams so i was taking between that i would shoot up every two times per week so um you know every basically every three days if i shot monday then i would shoot thursday and then the next time i would shoot would be sunday and then it just every three days i would just shoot so um for me i was taking between five to six hundred that was a sweet spot for me i wasn't losing hair I had no acne, um, you know, any of those bad things I did not have, you know, sex drive, everything was fine. Um, just only every now and then just you do have mood swings. That's the only thing I can tell you uh, as well. You know, sometimes there will be little things that might irritate me more than it should. But other than that, once you understand that, hey, you know, th this is not that serious. This is not a big deal. You kind of can control. You kind of can, uh, you know fall back and control yourself you know some people uh if they really are like a, a angry person or you know they're very negative and things like that that can have an effect on your attitude or your mood um but with me no i have not had any roid rage or anything like that none of that i don't have any of that and that that doesn't really exist that just only comes off of you know a lot of people saying that it makes you angry this and that understand that when you get on testosterone all it's going to do is just enhance who already who you are so if you're an angry person if you're an asshole or anything like that it's going to make you more of an asshole more of an irritated person or or angry person it just enhances what you already if you're calm and collected and you're chill then it's going to make you more of that it's not going to just turn you into an asshole if you're a cool person, you know. So it doesn't, those things don't exist, you know, the whole roid rage thing. That's not really true, okay. So those things never really happen. Those are pretty much my goods and my bads, man, being on testosterone. I have I was on my cycle for about four months, maybe four and a half months. And then I've been off of it now for about, it's going on maybe one and a half to two months now that I've been off my cycle should you guys take it if you are young i do not recommend that you should take this take testosterone if you're already in your early 20s and you you know you want to get into bodybuilding unless you really want to do this professionally that is totally up to you and your choice but if you're just doing it to try to look good and impress some females do not do it do not take it i am 34 years old i've taken my body to its natural limits i've been working out for 18 years that is the reason why i decided to do it for myself. I wanted to see what would I look like, how would I feel, the weight I will be pushing, and things like that off of just doing a cycle of testosterone. So that's what I did. Now, in the future, would I continue to do this? To be honest, yes. More than likely, when I'm 40 and over, I'm more than likely is gonna, uh, I'm going to get on testosterone and stay on testosterone, right? Because uh, when a man reaches 30, his testosterone drops, which means you're going to get less energy, less sex drive, build less muscle. You're not going to feel as strong. You're not going to have as much energy throughout the day, things like that. So in order for me to keep those things leveled, I need to have um, some extra testosterone to keep my testosterone high in my body. That is the reason why I would take it. You guys make sure that you find a reason on why you want to take it. Don't take it to impress women, to impress um, guys, anything like that. Do not do that. I do recommend that you stay natural. Remember, I was natural for 18 years. I will show you some pictures that will pop up of what I look like natural and, and what I look like now. You know, and there's honestly, it's not too much of a big difference because I took my body to its natural limit. And I decided to get on some testosterone. Now, it didn't make me more huge than what I was or anything. No, it didn't really do that. It just gave me a little push to, to get my physique to be just that little, bit, that little bit more better. And that's it. I didn't do all the other hardcore drugs. You know, there's this trend and anabol and all these other drugs. I'm not getting into all of that. I just wanted to try testosterone. And that's what I did for me. So could I say I'm a lifetime natural? 
I am not a lifetime natural anymore. That's completely fine. I was natural for 18 years. And then I decided to do a four month cycle on testosterone. Now I'm natural. I'm not taking anything now. So yes, I can, I am natural for the time being now, but am I a lifetime natural? If someone asks me that question, no, I am not a lifetime natural. I think we got a lot of people in this industry that uh, misconstrue that. They, they, you know, it's like they don't know what being natty or natural is. It's like, hey, have you ever taken drugs, you know? And some people don't want to admit it and some will, you know? And shout out to the people like them. For me, I'm going to keep it real with you guys. I literally made this video to show you guys that I decided to take some anabolics and see what it does for me. Now I'm off of it and we're going to continue to, to rock out and make content. And if I decide to get on anything else in the future, there's going to be a video on it. And I'm going to tell you guys what it's doing for me, the bad, the good, everything. I want to keep it 100 percent. I thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope that um, you guys can subscribe. You guys can follow your boy. Hit that subscribe button. Write a comment on the bottom, man, and let me know what you guys think of, you know, me deciding to take my, um, you know, my cycle of testosterone. And do you think I'm dumb for doing that? I mean, I wanted to experience for me, you know, I wanted to be able to um, experiment with myself and see what would happen for me, you know, me being on testosterone. And I, I got some of my evidence. I've gotten things that um, you know, I experienced things that other people said that they experienced, you know, and then other things that uh, they didn't experience and things that they experienced that I didn't experience, you know. So this is the reason why I like to do things like this, because I want to know for myself. I don't want to keep hearing about somebody being on drugs or somebody taking anabolics and, you know, these are the side effects and this is what you're going to get. I want to experience on my own. So I experienced it. And to be honest, overall, I think that when you're older, in your 30s to your 40s, that, you know, I, well, rather I would say your mid 30s to your 40s and up is when you should be considering maybe taking some testosterone. Now, you don't have to overdo it. So, like I said, again, consider it when you're in your older age. If you're young, if you're under 30 years old, do not take testosterone. Stay natural. Grow your body naturally. OK, unless you decide that you want to go professionally and you want to do professional bodybuilding, you are going to have to get on anabolics. But that is your choice. And remember the risks that come with doing those things. OK, because you can get addicted, you can abuse it and you can mess your body up long term in the future. OK, so you have to be aware of these things for you young guys out there. All right. So again, I thank you guys for watching this video. If you stuck around this long, please like, comment, and subscribe. There's going to be a lot more content, sorry, that's going to come out. Um, I'm going to try to put out at least uh, one to two videos a week. Trust me now, I have my camera now. I have everything up and running again now. I'm going to be working like a madman. So I'm going to be trying to always putting out content for you guys. I'm also going to do a video, man, talking about a lot of these uh, these new fitness uh you know, celebs or these 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 new YouTubers and stuff like that, fitness YouTubers, because, um, you know, nothing bad. I'm not you know, I'm not trying to slander anybody name. It's just, you know, um, there's some people that I think that has like a topic of discussion, like they should be talked about. And, um, you know, you can't listen to everybody. Do not listen to everybody that is in front of a camera telling you about fitness and dieting and training because there is a lot of bullshit out there. All right. So again, I thank y'all again. Please comment and subscribe. Got a lot more videos on the way and write a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you think of the video and I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Peace.